like this. That way, my friends back home can check out my post, see what I've seen, and share my experiences. But believe me, I'm definitely not a professional photographer, but I love to take pictures. That's why I really enjoy this quad camera. The thing's absolutely amazing. And what I already noticed with this camera is that it allows me to capture the real world exactly as I see it. So let me break it down to you and tell you how this quad camera makes all the differences. Let's start with the main camera, the one we use most often. This is a camera that adjusts to the moment, giving you high quality photos, whatever you do, and wherever you are. In bright daylight, your camera has to capture great, con great contrast to capture every detail. With 24 megapixels, the main camera gets you super sharp and super accurate colors. But what about in low light? With the A9, you won't miss a moment. Even if there's hardly any light, you'll be able to capture incredible detail. With so many smartphones, it's a little bit difficult to take this. But that's why this technology is so valuable. Check this out. When you take pictures in low light, they can look rough and pixelated. But on the A9, the main camera sensor merges four pixels into one in low light. That's four times larger, so it soaks in the light and creates brighter images, even in the darkness. And the really cool thing is, whether dark or bright, the camera adjusts its sensors automatically. So as the light gets brighter, each merged pixel divides back into four pixels for sharper contrast and vivid colors. Your camera is now set for every situation. So whether you take a day shot or a night shot, it will be Instagram ready, anytime, anywhere. But it's not just the lens that's amazing. We packed in some great software here as well. Let me introduce you to the Intelligent Camera Scene Optimizer. It's powered by an AI that could recognize 19 different scenes, say a flower, food, or landscape. And it automatically optimizes the image to make sure you get the best shot. The A9 also protects you from problems that are tricky to spot. Say you're exploring maybe the Batu Caves here in Malaysia. What if you take a picture and you don't realize it was blurry until you got home? Or you're traveling with your best friend snapping a Wi-Fi and you realize later one of you blinked. This could ruin your entire trip, meaning your perfect Instagram photo. So don't worry, the intelligent camera feature on the A9 has your back. It detects the flaw and tells you straight away, so you don't miss the moment. Now, there's one thing that I always find a challenge when I'm traveling. It's when I want to take a picture of something, but it just seems impossible to fit everything on the screen, like no matter how far I lean back. That's where the A9's ultra-wide camera comes in. I honestly love this feature. The ultra-wide pictures you could take look so good because they have a human dimension. I mean, literally. This camera has one 20-degree ultra-wide angle. That's as wide as your human eye can see. What this adds to your smartphone camera is nothing short of dramatic. With a normal smartphone camera, with the 77-degree view, it's sometimes difficult to capture the full picture. But touch the ultra-wide mode icon on the A9, and you can now capture the moment exactly as you see it, all part of your full Story. Let's go even wider this time. This is a nice panorama shot taken by a traditional smartphone. But with the A9, you take this to a completely different dimension. The A9 always uses the ultra-wide camera for this type of shot. And just look at the transformation. This is not a panorama anymore, guys. It's an ultra-wide panorama. Now, when I share this with my friends, they will get the full experience. At the opposite end of the scale, when you need to get close, you zoom in, right? The A9's telephoto lens has two times optical zoom. So you get closer for more detail and more stable pictures. And it pays off. Let's say you spot one of your sporting heroes in the distance. Getting the perfect shot without getting closer is now easy. Just simply tap the telephoto button 
and you get close. I mean, real close without sacrificing any quality. Just like that. Okay, so we've had a different lighting, ultra wide angle, and super optical zoom, right? So now imagine this. You're snapping a friend against a colorful background, a busy street maybe. But the thing is, you want more than a snapshot. You want them to really stand out. That's what the depth camera is for. The A9 has a dedicated lens for depth, a lens that lets you decide what stands out and lets you blur the rest. And it really is that easy, from snapshot to our shot in seconds. The combination of the main camera with the depth camera gives your image a completely different quality. And you have total control because now you can blur the image not only when you take the shot, but also after, when you're tweaking the image afterwards. So if you look around like that, that's what's happening. And I'll show you a little more after this. You can check the blur. You could blur more, blur less. It's all possible with the A9. And with these photos not long ago, creating images like this on a phone was unheard of. Now all it takes is a Galaxy A7 or A9. It takes the kind of photo I would post on my Instagram, and I'm sure you would as well. Finally, you have the cameras you need and one for every moment. So that's four different lenses for any situation, any time, for four times the fun. Now you can snap every detail and share every moment with images that will blow your mind with world-first technology leadership that puts you in control 